This is one of my formal dresses from high school. This is the prom dress that I wore for a whole five minutes before I ended up leaving and going to the hospital because of my ulcerative colitis. And this is the prom dress I was supposed to wear my senior year before my prom got canceled because of COVID. <laughs> oh boy, that's Sydney Morgan. The 20 year old was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis during her junior year of high school. And during long hospital stays, she decided to get creative. So she started posting makeup tutorials. She now has Get, out, get this, I over know. 10 uh. million followers on social media. So that's probably if you multiply both of ours together, like a million We're more than just close, the Ron. multiplication <laughs> of what we have. So impressive. This weekend, she's back at her hometown of Pittsburgh as a, na as a uh, Take Steps National Ambassador for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. How awesome is it? Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so wow, girl, you're busy. You have one of the largest social media platforms um, that I've really ever seen in the area. How, yeah. how does that feel? It's crazy, and I'm just so grateful every day that I get to share what I'm doing with the world and also bring awareness to Crohn's and colitis. Yeah, and how did you become so talented in doing makeup? Because I try every morning. It is not easy. <laughs> yeah, so I've been an artist, kind of drawing and painting my whole life, and then through my high school, I volunteered to do face painting on kids, and then with the pandemic and being diagnosed with colitis, I had a lot of free time, and doing makeup was really a creative outlet for me that helped me a lot get through that. Let me ask you also, uh, you know, coming up, uh, you were graduating high school right when COVID was hitting. Uh, unfortunately, just like you kind of joked about there with your humor, uh, it impacted your high school year. How much has COVID really come into play with you and even your success now? I mean, it really changed the direction of my life because I was planning on going to college for medical and then I was going to do track and field as well. So then with COVID, I ended up taking a gap year from school because everything was online anyways. And that gave me the time to sit down and kind of re spark my passion for makeup and artwork and being creative. Oh, look at that. That's yeah. so, so good. <laughs> and so um, what is ulcerative colitis and is it different than Crohn's? Yeah, so ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease, and it is in the colon, whereas Crohn's disease is throughout the digestive system. So basically, my immune system was attacking ulcers into the lining of my colon. And how has that affected you every day? Like, how, how what are your symptoms? Yeah, so before I got my colon removed, it was a lot of stomach aches, cramping, frequent trips to the bathroom, fatigue, and now I... I'm just very fatigued all the time still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Right. Well, tell us a little bit about your work now, uh, because you're a national ambassador, and that's what happens when you have millions that yeah. are following you on TikTok, which is so amazing. Uh, but for Crohn's and the Colitis Foundation and what it means to be a national ambassador. Yeah, so I make a lot of fun videos for my page, as well as the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's page, bringing awareness to where you can get resources, how to donate, upcoming events. Like this weekend, we have the Take Steps Walk here in Pittsburgh the North Shore that I'm going to be the MC for. That's awesome. Oh. And so there's going to be a lot of fun things happening there. All right. Your next step is a movie. Is it true? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, a movie that I'm working on is yeah. a horror movie called Kindling and oh I'm gosh, producing yeah. as well as acting in it. That's and actually awesome. a partial amount of the funds for the campaign are going toward the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. That's well, awesome. Well, Sydney, you're a brave girl and I'm sure you could <laughs> never imagine that what you were once probably embarrassed about. Now yeah. you're on this national platform helping other people. Yeah, so amazing. Let me just ask you really quickly. I know we're running out of time, but for anyone that's aspiring to be a TikTok uh, influencer, what are some <laughs> tips? Yeah, I would say being original and authentic and organic to yourself is very important because at the end of the day, you want something that makes you different from the millions of other users <laughs> yeah. on the platform doing what you want to be doing right. and just stay true to yourself. Awesome. You hear that, Ron? I, tips I for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Help. All right. Thank you so much, Sydney. Yeah, you are you. a brave girl. Sydney will be speaking at the Take Steps Pittsburgh event this Sunday, June 26th. It's the largest peer to peer fundraising wow. campaign for the Crohn's and Colitis. Foundation. Yeah, and to follow Sydney's journey on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, go to uh, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have links to all of her pages posted right there. Yeah, thanks for being with yeah. us, Sydney.